About a month ago, I saw an advert on YouTube for the U-Phone, supposedly the most innovative smartphone in 20 years, so I bought one. I was curious, but I didn't realize this at the time. I was about to get involved in quite possibly the biggest tech scam on the internet. So this U-Phone company, you don't need to do a whole lot of digging to know that something is off. They literally say the only reason we can keep our prices so low is because we don't spend a dime on advertising. I've literally just seen you through a YouTube ad. They say its processor is two times faster than the newest iPhone or Samsung, and that we worked on new technology for five years to create the U-Phone. Well, I guess that would explain why it's still got two gigs of RAM. It's made from super durable materials, plastic. It's called plastic. And then of course, they finish off with a whole load of glowing, perfect reviews. Which is funny because if you actually search for the U-Phone outside of the site, you won't find a single one. But anyways, I clicked order. I thought, if I've seen this ad like five times already, then there's a very good chance that a lot of you guys will have seen it too. So all I wanted to do was to get the product, show you guys it was garbage, and then make sure that none of us have anything to do with this U-Phone company again. That was the plan, but it didn't quite work. The second I clicked that order button, I was whisked away from this actually decent looking website to this. It felt like I was about to order a stripper, not a phone. And what didn't help is that after making the payment, I could see that my money hadn't gone to the U-Phone company, but in fact a company called Hyper SLS. I could have just bought anything. It only took a very quick Google search to find that Hyper SLS, or Hyper's Tech, is not a very liked company. They've managed to get over 2,000 negative reviews on Trustpilot, and they've been accused of pretty much every type of scam imaginable. Sometimes they've shipped a product, but one that doesn't at all match the claims they made about it. Sometimes they didn't even ship the product at all, and they just gave a fake tracking number. But the worst one I saw was someone who'd bought a product and was trying to return it. And this company gave them a fake return address. Who are these people? I tried finding the company address on Google Maps, and it just takes you to this random building in Hong Kong. I was kind of confused. It looks less like a company headquarters, more just like a block of flats. But then things started falling into place. I was back on the U-Phone site, trying to see what else I could find out about this company. And I realized, wait a second, that phone looks familiar. And sure enough, one reverse Google image search later, the most innovative smartphone in 20 years is nothing more than the $60 Ulephone S10 Pro. So I'm guessing that for the few people who do get their items delivered, that's what they get. But this was just the tip of the iceberg. While I was doing this image search, I noticed another phone that looked almost identical, but this one wasn't labeled as the U phone, it was the X1 phone. And wait, this X1 has an almost identical trailer as the U phone, the only difference being that the name's been swapped out. And would you believe it, it takes you right back to this Hypers Tech company with an almost identical purchase page. It's one thing to run a scam on the internet, but it's something quite different to run two parallel scams on two completely different websites. The timing of this discovery was almost creepy, because shortly after, a little package dropped through my door. And I couldn't believe it, it was an X1 phone. I'd ordered a U phone, but ended up getting the X1. So these two brands were obviously linked. Well, turns out, there's not just two. Hypers Tech has an entire catalogue of products that all follow the exact same formula. A cover page that basically tells you it's the best thing since sliced bread. A purchase page that looks something like this, and then some sort of devious way to make sure that you don't get what you pay for. Anyways, I did open up this X1 phone they gave me, and as expected, it's just a cheap phone they'd sourced from somewhere else and just put into their own packaging. So I was fully ready to call it there, to say, okay guys, investigation over, don't buy anything from Hypers Tech. Simple. I wish it was that simple. See, in all this time I've been waiting for my phone to arrive, I've been served 36 adverts that look something like this. Employee gets fired for inventing indestructible drone, or how to get super fast Wi-Fi in six seconds, or even check out this revolutionary teeth cleaning kit. And it would be easy to uh, brush these things off as unrelated products, but isn't it just a bit weird that they all have the exact same style as that first U-Phone ad I came across? And now that I was taking note of it, I noticed something else weird, that every time I was coming across an advert for one of these products, the Wi-Fi booster or the drone, they'd all have slightly different names. For example, this one drone here is being sold as the X Drone HD, but also the Drone X Pro, the Sky Drone, the Blade 720, and probably many, many more that I haven't come across yet. And every time I click through to the websites, even though they would sometimes have different landing pages, 
sure enough, once you click the order button, you're back in the same place. But one thing was throwing me off. Obviously, we'd already concluded that Hypers Tech was a garbage company, but a lot of these different products weren't being sold by Hypers Tech, but in fact, other companies, supposedly from all around the world. The U phone is from Hong Kong, yes, but the Wi Fi Ultra Boost is from a company called Novads U in Estonia. There's a laser keyboard, which is from MDE Commerce Limited in Malta, and there's a Drone X Pro, which is from a different company in the United Arab Emirates. So either it's a whole bunch of companies that are collaborating on this scam, or there's one person behind the entire operation. And at this point, I was siding with the latter. You might be wondering at this stage though, why? What's the point setting up all these different companies and websites just to sell the same products? Well, put it this way, we see a lot of scams online. Just take that whole Escobar phone situation. Escobar promised people a phone and didn't deliver. But here's the thing, once Escobar has made one scam, or maybe two scams, most people are going to think twice about buying if they create a third one. But what I think is happening here is that every time a scam is being discovered and being exposed on YouTube and on Trustpilot, whoever's behind this just creates a new company, creates a new brand name, and then carries on selling the same product under a new identity. If I do a quick Google search of that Drone X Pro, for example, this video is the first thing you see, telling me that the Drone X Pro is a scam. So whoever's behind this probably thought, okay, it's time to just relabel our product now as the Sky Drone, so that when people search for us, that video isn't gonna show up. It's devious, isn't it? And I can't emphasize how widespread these companies are across the internet. There's a site called Mega Deals, seemingly unrelated, but oh wait, that's just MDE Commerce Limited from Malta. There's Tech XSV, but oh wait, that's just Hyper SLS from Hong Kong. And now that I've kind of made the link between these companies, it feels like I see them on adverts everywhere. I even tried using someone else's phone to avoid bias, and it only took 10 minutes of browsing tech videos to come across, sure enough, one of these. So, there was only one thing left to do now. Find a link between these companies. Find the name behind it all. I tried to find company and corporation certificates, nothing. I went on Google Street View, trying to see these supposed headquarters the products were coming from. Maybe I could find something in common there, nothing. They just look like normal residential buildings. But then I found something. And how I got to this answer was actually through an article written about Novads U, the Estonian branch of this operation. So we've had a virus, right? We've had a huge pandemic. Well, this company has such little care for their customers that they were recently caught selling face masks to people. Face masks that claimed unrivaled performance like they do for every one of their products. They said it could block 94% of viruses, but it couldn't. They've put people's lives in danger. And as I was reading this article, a name popped up. I'm gonna completely butcher the pronunciation of it, but Ricardo Jorge Pereira de Souza Coelho, part-time amateur footballer and part-time Estonian businessman. So the report says he's the guy behind Novadzu and the face masks, and it pretty much ends there. But wait a second, we now know that all of these companies are linked. What if this is the one guy behind everything? Well, I think there's a pretty good chance because it turns out this guy is a millionaire with, and this is the key part, residences in Malta, Hong Kong, United Arab Emirates, and Estonia. Is it a coincidence that those just so happen to be the exact same countries that all of these shady companies are founded in? Probably not. And the final piece of evidence which would support this is that if you search his name, it's linked to one company, DB2 Management. And if we head to their site, they say DB2 Management is a company based in Estonia. Okay, we offer electronic gadgets to customers all around the world. It adds up, and if we look at the public company records, this site is classified as a parent company. It has one employee, and it supposedly brought in $28.72 million in a year. So my guess would be that DB2 Management is just this one guy, manages and this shady web of companies around the world, which have registered to his different properties. Whatever the exact specifics of it are, there's a very clear takeaway here. If you see a trailer that looks like this, if you see a website that looks like this, or a checkup page that looks like this, then you know the drill. Don't buy it.